Hey guys, welcome back to K-Trails, my keythane based uh, career mode program thingy my bob um, on Kerbal Space Program. I've added a few more mods to the list, it's no longer just keythane. Uh, we've also got this toolbar thing up here, which I have to stress, I didn't actually have a choice about. If I wanted Infernal Robotics, which is one of the next mods I want, and believe me, yes, I really wanted Infernal Robotics. Uh, because I'm making a collection system, but we'll, t we'll talk about that because that's today's plan. Um, also, uh, Void, I r forget what that's an acronym for, but that's the one that enables me to put all my um, uh, all my information on screen that I was talking about last time. So yeah, let's, let's go have a look in the tracking center and see what we've got running. Uh, mainly, I think I want to call... Um, oh god, wow, okay, let, let's put that there, that there. Uh, can I add alarms from here? I can't add alarms from here. So we'll go into Jeb because I want to call Jeb back, but he's also conveniently just kind of floating around ready to be used as a um, uh, 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 an avatar for the, the alarm clock. Um, it turns out you can't... Ooh, whoa. Why why that noise? There's no, there's no stuff here. What? Alright. Uh, so you, you can't set alarms from the main screen or anything you you have to use Kerbals um, so uh, Kerbal alarm clock oh I've added a load I don't remember doing that oh, that's nice of them but so yeah I, I did come in and have a, have a little bit of a play I thought I'd uh, got rid of it all but obviously I was mistaken or the the, the config settings are not not rolled back or something um, <coughs> so yeah here we go eight days until a moho um, Moho encounter. Now they're the ones that roll by quite often because obviously Moho is um, like on a tight tight orbit around um, Kerbal, Ker Kerbal, uh, which means that the you know the, the the alignments happen more often. So I think what we're gonna do is this time we're gonna have a um, uh, a flyby system, something with a little bit of science on it, um, something that hopefully can go there come back and go yes it's relatively easy to get there ready your next your next manned mission because this first one it, in fact if i can do it i'd like to put um a satellite i haven't got the mapping satellite why haven't i done that i should i should, by the time i cut and come back i would have got the uh the the mapping the isa mapping satellite added to um added to the mod list uh, right, but yeah, as we've done all that, let's recover Jeb. I should have done a, a, a surface sample, that w and maybe a crew report. Well, this is why I'm so behind in my science. Let's let's have a look at the science. Oh, that's kind of in the wrong place for that, but okay. We've got ten crew reports. Where are they all from? Safe landing, flying low, in space. So where are they? Kerbin Highlands? Wow, is that the only place we've got crew report? What about EVA reports? The Highland Shores, Minmont. Oh, wow. Got next to nothing done here. And obviously we're going to have nothing from Moho. So, yeah. 155 I bet. We, we, could, we could push that over to the 160 just like right now, couldn't we? And then that would give me access to some extra stuff for the Moho mission possibly the small parts did I get the small parts those hmm small parts seem like a good idea but I don't think I'm gonna send a small satellite let's have a look are there any what I'm looking for ideally are some larger uh, that's all aeronautics uh, there's not a, a larger probe bodies or you know maybe something along the lines of a, a rover thing a rover body Okay, okay. Um, right, and somewhere back here there's going to be all the Infernal Robotics stuff. I don't know if any of it has popped up on my system yet. Uh, I've not I've not come in here to have a look, so yeah, here we go. The adjustable rails, that's nice. What? Research? Oh, wow, am I going to have to do this for each one? The gantry rail, gantry variant. Okay, uh, I'm probably going to just quickly uh, clip to the end of this. So there's a hinges, oh, there's a lot of hinges. What general construction? Is this a? Uh, it's a bit bump bunched up, really, isn't it? You'd expect a few of them to not be so 
so bunched. I'm not sure where else you'd, you'd put them though, to be honest, but... Ah, oh, this is a, a laborious task, just clicking and going. Right, so that one, that one, that one. A any others on the new mod list? Um, I think this may actually be it. Ah, oh, here's some more stuff. Advanced construction. Uh, heavy hydraulic rails, I guess. Sorry about the drop off of music and everything else, but to uh, go through this this quickly, I needed to do so, and my editing software doesn't let me have music. Okay, so we're through all that. I'm not sure why I clicked over there, but there we go. Um, that's the first pro body. I think that may be all the bits we need to get. Oh, no, there's some more. Specialised construction, of course. Um, I'm not sure what these uh, um, docking washers are about. Um, in fact, I'm not sure what a lot of these are about. L last time I played with Inferno Robotics, the claw was still a thing. Uh, I think that's when... Um, I forget the name of the, the person who was coding it, but uh, Inferno Robotics kind of changed hands. Uh, in fact, I didn't even notice that it had changed hands. It had just suddenly uh, taken on a new form and stuff. Um, so yeah, I think the claw was back when when he was the, the original coder was running it, and now there's a couple of new guys have taken over. I really wish I'd written their name down now. Um, <laughs> I feel quite bad not giving them full credit as I am using their stuff. But there we go, Infernal Robotics. It's it's out there. Go use it, guys. It's amazing. Right, and with that. So let's pop back out here. Uh, right, so we're going to go work on a Moho mission. Um, and in the... Uh, with the aim in mind that I don't really want to just uh, sit here going, um, I think I want this, uh, maybe I want that, and take it away. I'm going to just jump to the end of when I've got a complete satellite and we will we'll talk about what I've done with it. I know what you're thinking, that's not much of a MOHO orbiter, and you're right, it's not. But whilst I was building the actual MOHO orbiter, I realised that I was a little short on science for the, uh, the tiny, tiny uh, radial engine. So I keep taking my hand off the mouse to, put, to make a little radial sign, but I don't, I don't know why. Um, like literally five, five short. So I've put together a, a minimal science thing, um, aircraft. We've got a temperature sensor, barometric pressure, and of course any, any science that the Kerbal themselves can do. And we're going to go out, I don't know, maybe to one of the islands. Um, I'm not sure whether they're still classed as shores. Should have looked up on the uh, on the wiki for that. Um, but I don't know, maybe, maybe out to the desert if this thing's got the range. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll just get out there, we'll get up into a high altitude and... Um, and yeah, go get some science. All right, let's see what we can do. Probably not a great deal. Uh, daytime, that'll be there somewhere. I don't want to just rip past the morning. Right, awesome. Throttle up, hit the T. Away we go. Jebediah, of course, in control because he lets no one else drive. Uh, we've got two two um, air scoops for for the engine. That should be plenty. Nice automatic takeoff there. See if we can start just easing ourselves round. Probably shouldn't be quite so heavy on the throttle if I'm trying to turn. Uh, pull my gear up. Pull my nose up. I mean, all we want to do is get over there. That's it. Just 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 over there. Let's see if I can make that happen. It's not too difficult. I mean, look, there, there's there's the lush greenness of it already. Um, even if I aim to land, pretty close. Ooh, that was a bit heavy. Let's turn fine controls on. Um, and of course, if all else fails, as I forget in most flights, I've got the the parachutes. So let's see what's going on there. Um, right, pretty much cut my engines. Uh, that looks nice and flat. Let's go over there. Um, throttling down, we're still only at the half throttle, so. Um, let's kick it some lights and my landing gear. Let's 
get ourselves level with the horizon and start pulling up a bit. I seem to be diving rather, rather alarmingly. Okay, and hopefully we won't meet the side of a hill. That seems to be the way that a lot of my flights do end. Um, if I can just get close enough, 300 meters, uh, kill the engine. This, this looks nice and flat, though I'm still in the shores by him. Oh, that's a little bit annoying. In fact, that's a lot annoying. Ah, uh, tundra. It's getting better. I didn't know there was tundra here. I thought this was grasslands. Oh, there we go. Live and learn. Uh, coming down to 50 meters per second. I'm pulling back on the controls as heavy as I can. Uh, deploying parachutes. Oh, that, that went perfectly, apart from tipping my ship backwards. Uh... <laughs> Alright, well, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I suppose we best do some science whilst we're here. <laughs> Let's log the pressure data, uh, keep the data, log the temperature data. Now, I do believe, despite. Oh, toggle display. So despite having. Um, had the temperature sensor thermometer, I don't know why I keep calling it a temperature sensor, having the thermometer for a very, very long time, this is the first time I've actually logged any temperature datas. Um, I really would like to get this vessel pointing the right direction again. Uh, not sure if I can do that. Oh no, stop that, stop, stop, stop. It's all over! <laughs> we have a flame out and the cabin has detached from the vessel. <laughs> Maybe we can rock it over. <laughs> I've dealt with worse. There, there's... Can you get out? No, the hatch is obstructed. Alright, gonna do some wobbling. There we go. Oh. And back the other way. Okay, that's good enough. <laughs> good enough. And I can even get back in afterwards. Sweet. Right. So here we go take surface sample uh, from the tundra. Awesome. That's nine science. That's, e that's already more than we need. And that's 2.4. Right, get back in the ship. And recover. Okay, seventeen point five. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, and then in here, that one. Yay, radial engines. Oh, and a small RCS tank. Also after that, right? Do it. Done. Bum. And here be the fruit of our labours. Uh, it's a nice little Moho probe. Um, I think that I've put everything on here that I want to put on, including uh, li little details. Um, let's just run through from top to bottom what we've got. Uh, we've got a um, Keythane scanner, obviously. Uh, a few um, solar panels, though I think I'm going to have to add more of these. Uh, the reason they're in the configuration that they are is I started off trying to do a little face here, and that uh, kind of works. But if we go around to the other side, We've got a Cyclops elephant. Uh, I think that's just like the best thing ever. Um, so yeah, Cyclops. Um, this thing here is a radar dish. Um, I tried to install uh, the ISA mapping satellites only to find out that it went obsolete in 1.22. Um, but this is um, ScanSat. Uh, this is the radar and this is the multi-bands um, spectroscope thing. Uh, plenty of um, batteries because the last thing we want to do is run out of um, power because this is a probe and that would be horrible. Uh, we have RCS bang on the center of mass. Now we're probably gonna have to test this out but if you look the nozzle actually goes straight through the line so I think that's all amazing and I think my mouse has just died. That'd be terribly inconvenient. Thankfully I've got some extra batteries here. Let's just 
There we go, always, always prepared, thankfully. Um, right, uh, RCS lines bang on the, lo on the line and a little, uh, little burners just in case we need to uh, finesse our orbit, though I'm really not planning on this being like used for anything major. Um, I'm gonna use a, another stage underneath to do almost everything and then set this off on its own little merry way. Uh, I'd kind of like to put some other solar panels on this, um, probably down low as it looks like, well, for starters, because if the sun's up here, we're all good, but if the sun is down here, we've got a serious issue. Uh, you'll also notice a, a docking ring because well, it's always good to be able to go and pick stuff up when you turn up with your actual ship. Um, I'm not sure where we're going, what we're going to pick that up with, but I think it's time for a bit of testing. Um, and to do that, I'm just going to use my tiny lifter sub-assembly. Um, and to be honest, I don't think we even need that much. Let's just let's just do it like this. Well, let's just throw it up into orbit. And we'll see what happens. Uh, now, this is a big issue. Right, there we go. Alright, I think we're ready to, to, to roll. Why aren't these connected? Oh well, let's, let's just fly. So, as we've now watched me launch oh, many, many, many ships into orbit, I forget how many, and uh, I do have a tendency to waffle on and make the uh, video a lot longer than it needs to be on these particular launch stages. I'm going to do this bit in post-commentary. Um, this, uh, this launch is mainly for testing, as I say. Uh, it's testing both the power generation and the RCS positioning mainly because I want to try and like learn to streamline those two processes uh, every time that I've done it in the in, in the future. Yeah, I'm a time traveler. I'd just like to uh, point that out. <laughs> every time that I've done my testing in the future, I've uh, found out that I've, I've just been a little bit too over enthusiastic with just about everything. And obviously, extra stuff means extra fuel. And if I was just going to curb in orbit with this, this wouldn't be too much of an issue. But obviously what I'm trying to do is get to Moho, which means that the deceleration Delta V needed is quite spectacular. So the, the, the lower the weight, the better the, 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 the chances of me pulling it off correctly. Uh, I'm still not sure whether this flight, not this flight, but the next flight is going to be one that stops or is just a flyby. I mean, given all the uh, scanning equipment that I've actually put on this, I should probably make it uh, an orbiting, oh, excuse me, an orbiting flight. And of course, with the uh, frequency of the MOHO alignments for the transfer orbit, I should be able to start getting actually quite a, quite a serious um, keythane store on the go there. Um, I, I, looking to the future, I'm not sure whether I'm going to have just Lenry on his own or whether I should go and find some more Kerbals to sign up for the Keithane unit. Obviously, um, Jeb, Bob and Bill are the science boys, in inverted commas. They're the ones that go out and get all the, all the massive science from the, the, you know, the far-flung places. Um, uh, by far-flung, I mean Kerbin, the Nun and Minmus, because so far not a single bit of science has happened, at least in this particular save, outside that three-body system. Uh, and really should get round to doing that at some point. Uh, if nothing else, I'd like to get out to Juna. I think Juna's supposed to be the easiest one. I mean, I'd possibly go to Eve. I, I obviously will not be landing on Eve at this point in career mode because I don't have any mainsails. And to get off of Eve, like through that atmosphere, is a bit of a push. But anyway, yeah, this launch has gone well so far. I've done all my stagings. I'm, I'm now at the point where I'm just trying to circularize my orbit. And uh, I am following my usual pattern of thrusting far too early. Um, and making the point that I'm trying to reach further and further and further away because I, I'm impatient. Sorry to admit that, guys, but I am just 100% impatient. So, yeah, drop me a line, comments, Facebook, however you've got of getting hold of me, and tell me which mission you'd like to see next because they all seem equally appealing to me. Uh, obviously, like, the Moho one is now underway, but what happens next? Um... I suppose that all depends on the alarm clock settings, really, doesn't it? But anyway, I'm about to start talking now, so I'm going to shut up. Okay, and welcome to orbit. We're just going to decouple this and take full control of our little ship here. And we should hopefully just drift away nicely, but if we pop on a little bit of RCS and get it forward for us. 
yeah, that, that appears to work fine. Now I just want to make sure I'm pointing towards the, the sun, Kerbal, Ker, Kerbal, uh, and the fact that the shadow is coming around on my rear end means that I'm pointing completely the wrong direction. Uh, that way is north, it's not going to be north, is it? Where, where's the sun? There it is. So if we arrest our, our movements, Pop it back over this way. I saw it a second ago. <laughs> Alright, well, whatever. Um, <laughs> let's just pop that there, turn our RCS off. Um, okay, so my first thought is can I use all these detectors at once? Um, I'm guessing probably not. bit of an issue here. There we go. Selecting that was quite difficult. So we've turned on all the scanners um, for Keythane and uh, the, the radar scanner and the multispectral. Let's see what's coming up here. What's this? Hey, well everything seems to be working alright. Um, and we're not draining too much power. Oh wait, we are. He's about to run out of charge. Boom, and now we're running on battery power. So that's, we could do with a couple more um, solar panels. I reckon I'm probably gonna pop them around here, but at the same time, that's because we're only using one and a bit of our available power. Uh, half the exposure and half the exposure. So yeah, just a couple more uh, things, a couple more solar panels. Um, let's go for an orbit. Just time warp round, make sure we're going to be alright. Uh, I have a feeling we're going to run out of power. Oh, we don't want to run completely out of power, so we won't be able to deorbit, and that's a, that's a shame. Okay, so let's turn the key thing scanner back off. We don't need this. Um, all the way down. Deactivate. Alright, awesome. Whilst we're not gaining power, I did actually see a minus number there for a little bit, so let's wait until we're out of the dark side. Um, which shouldn't take too long. Oh, that's nice, gives us a, a, a problem page when we, we've run out of power. And look, we've got a minus, which means we're charging back up. Uh, and once we get round to a retrograde, I'm going to see if I can safely deorbit. Hopefully using uh, RCS first, because that's, that's the main thing I wanted to ch test. So, it says here that I am gaining electric, but at the same time, these are stopping me gaining electric, so let's stop that, and let's, ooh, this is going to be another one where I have troubles selecting it, what was that, no, that was a battery, aha, there, that's the belt, that's the part, Stop it. Right. Awesome. We should start gaining power, hopefully. Because I want to... Stop. Stop. Did I get it? Stop. Stop. Alright, so we obviously have a big issue... with power. Alright, well. <laughs> That's the nature of testing, guys. Uh, I've learned the things that I need to learn here. Uh, things are being sorted and I'll add some more solar panels, possibly with some fold-out ones as well. <coughs> <coughs> and after that we should be ready to go to Moho in eight days um, where hopefully Lenry will be following on shortly afterwards if not Lenry at least one of his uh, friends that's, that's annoying that I can't turn this off that is annoying oh well that's the nature of the game um, I'm probably gonna have to send up a cleanup crew to come and get this but 
thank you very much for joining me for this slightly disjointed and test worthy adventure and i will see you next time if i can stop smashing my microphone across my face oh look, there's a the orbit it helps if i do some of the stages let's let's just do orbit this now see what we've got can we do that there we go destructive testing all right and i will leave you with pictures of this thing slowly crashing to a uh, well crashing to Kerbal actually.